Lala, you have prepared a cooking video for us. So what is the dish that you have prepared? It, the dish I'm preparing, I'm going to prepare, yeah. is a very <laughs> typical dish of Cappadocia. It's kebab in a pottery. And uh, I'm a working mom, Julianne. So the food I cook has to be practical. I have to find the ingredients easily. It, and it also has to be nutritional. So um, this is one of my favorite dishes out of Cappadocia. Our two members also taste this when they are here with us. Mm. And you prepared this dish in the kitchen of the hotel in Cappadocia where you are now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Lali just made this yesterday. Now, let's take a look what I have on my counter. This is an earthenware jug that I'm going to cook the kebab in. I will use diced man meat, 15 ounces, for the serving of two people, chopped peppers, three tomatoes, one quarter cup of olive oil, tomato paste, pearl onions, garlic, half a head of garlic. I have one spoonful of uh, butter here, it's melted. And I'm going to make a dough from flour, with flour and water to seal the top of the jar. Now I'm going to mix everything from fresh in my bowl. So Lale, if someone wanted to make this dish but they don't have the earthenware jug, what is something they can cook it in? A cast iron pot with a lid can go into the oven. Mm -hmm. And how long um, should it be baked for? It depends on the thickness of the pot they use. And uh, the earthenware pots we use are handmade, so their thicknesses differ. If it's a thicker pot, I would keep it more like half an hour. If it's a thinner one, I would keep it less than half an hour, like 25 minutes. The same goes for the cast iron pot too. Mm, okay. And what are some of the spices and herbs you're putting on the dish here? Uh, tomato paste is the main spice, I can say. It's the red thing on the uh, in the bowl. Right now, I'm putting on oregano. I'm going to put red pepper flakes and some black pepper. That is red pepper flake. Mm -hmm. And are these maybe the most common spices used in Turkey? Turkish they food? are pretty common, and it's... You can see them in every kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I love the colors of those spices. You know, it's going to be good with those, even those simple ingredients, it's going to be delicious. Yes. And that's the trick. Mm -hmm. And um, if our tour members want, we give them the recipes of the food they're eating. So they keep cooking Turkish food when they get back home. Ah. And I love something that has to be mixed or kneaded with your hands. It seems like the love just goes right into whatever dish you're making. Relieves the stress too. Yes. <laughs> I have mixed all the ingredients and spices in my bowl. And before I put them in the jug, I am going to pour half of the melted butter in the jug to coat the walls of the jug with the butter. I'm keeping half here. This is what I do. It's well cooked. Now I'm going to fill the cup. And here is the dough lolly. This was made with just flour and water. Mm -hmm. And a pinch of salt as well. Mm -hmm. And what do you use the dough for? The pots do not have a lid and I need to cover the opening of the pot. So I that, that's the simplest ingredient you would have in a kitchen. The wheat flour and water. So I'm going to make a coating, a cover to, uh, to use as a lid. Mm -hmm. And once it's baked, can you use the dough kind of as like a bread to eat with the dish? We don't use it. Ah, 
Okay. <laughs> Practical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, my door is ready. I'm going to use the filter and the to dry. I am going to poke a few holes on the door so the steam can go out. Now, my dish is ready to go in the oven. Okay, so with this, do you still bake this for about 20 25 minutes? Yes, mm -hmm. but I had preheated uh, the jug. So it would cook faster. Oh, okay. And at what temperature should the oven be? Uh, 200 to 220 degrees centigrade. Okay. And in just a minute here, the it looks all brown and crispy. And the kitchen must have smelled really good at this point, too. <laughs> Look at this transformation. When I first saw this video, Lale, I could not believe that every time this dish is made, the top is broken off of the pottery. It is such a simple uh, utensil for us, the pot. And Cappadocia has been a pottery center for about 4,000 years since the time of the Hittites. It's in every corner, easily available and inexpensive. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just for the wealthy to be able to dispose of a pot like this for a meal anyone Not could really. do so on the contrary it's so much less expensive than a cast iron pot that's true and what do you do with the with the two halves of the pot once you're done with it just throw it away or it can be recycled oh, okay. mm -hmm. it can be recycled dusted and then made into clay once more mm -hmm. wow i just thought it was so cool to just a. Uh, Disposable jug. I guess it's better than disposable plastic. That's for sure. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. Wow. It looks perfectly cooked. And does it continue cooking in this preheated plate or does that just help to keep it warm? Just a little bit to keep it warm mm -hmm. is the main yeah. reason. Mm -hmm. That sauce looks delicious. Wow. No juice or anything is added in the dish. It's mm -hmm. it's whatever juice comes from the vegetables and the meat itself. Mm -hmm. And in this next clip, Lala, you actually went to the source where these jugs are made, and we meet the man who makes them. And what's his name? Kamil. K A M I L. Kamil. Mm -hmm. And this site is in Cappadocia, the pottery place. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Selam Kamil. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Merhaba. Ne haber? Çok iyi, teşekkür ederim. Sen nasılsın? And here he is almost completing one of the pots and I just loved how he uses his feet for the potter's wheel or the spinning wheel. It's the traditional potter's wheel. <laughs> And it's amazing because every culture, wherever you go in around the globe, when you go to the museums, you see pottery. And if they're made on a wheel, it's exactly the same wheel culture used across the globe without knowing one another. Mm -hmm. It is amazing how the same things develop in exactly. completely 
different places. Mm -hmm. And do you think he made that that vase or it looks like a on the right there, it looks like a um what's the, a pitcher almost? You mean the one with the circle in it? Yes. Uh it's a Hittite design. It's a wine jug. Mm -hmm. It would go over your arm and on your shoulder. That is how you would serve the wine. Oh wow. Maybe it helps to aerate it before drinking. It does, definitely. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. There he is making the line so it can be broken before it's even done being made. <laughs> Teşekkürler. Bunu yaptıktan sonra yaklaşık bir hafta on gün böyle serin yerlerde kurutacağız. Kuruduktan sonra on saat dokuz yirmi derecede pişecek. Sonra da yemek için. And what is he saying there about the pots? Uh, he says that uh, you can see that the fresh clay is reddish and a brighter color, but once it's fired, the color will become lighter like the one next to it. But before they fire it, um, they keep it in a cool cave for about a week and then fire it. And the firing takes about 10 hours. Then it's ready for your kebab. And what is the translation of kebab, if there is one? Uh, I can, there is not one word that translates it, but kebab is any meat dish for us. As an example, the dish that I showed how I prepared, it's actually a stew. That's what you would call it in English, I suppose. But because meat goes into it, we would call it a kebab. Mm -hmm.